Hello everyone, his name is Baron Benjamin and today I'm your host Bullet Williams. Welcome to 19th Century Channel. Last month we saw how Korea completely falls, Japanese army crossed the Yalu River and crushed Russian armies to the Nanshan. On the 6th of June, 60k of third Japanese army landed on Dalni. After Nanshan, Noji Marisuke with his third army went to lay siege to Port Arthur and at the same time main Japanese army turned to north and in 14th arrived at Telisu. So Battle of Telisu aka Battle of Wafankuku or also known as Tukuriti no Takai has begun. It was fought on 14 to 15 of June. Telisu between the Japanese 2nd Army under General Oku Yasukata and the Russian 1st Siberian Army Corps under Lieutenant General Georgi Stachelberg following the Japanese chapter of Nanshan, Viceroy Evgeny Alexiev urged General Alexei Kuropatkin to assume a more aggressive strategy against the Japanese advance northward and the encouraging street to Port Arthur. Despite his objection and through the intervention of Tsar Nicholas II, Kuropatkin selected the town of Telisu as the site of confrontation, assigning 27,000 infantry, 2,500 cavalry, 2,500 cavalry to the task under the command of Lieutenant General Simonov, plus 98 guns. They were later supplemented by 3,000 riflemen and two guns, which arrived just as the front line troops were falling back. On the Japanese side, Uku's force comprised the 3rd, 4th and 5th divisions, with a total of about 36,000 riflemen, 2,000 cavalry, and 216 guns. Deployed on the railroad just south of the town. A week before the engagement, Kuropatkin sent Stachelberg to fall back with orders to recapture Nanshan and advance on Port Arthur, but avoid any deceived action against superior forces. Oku's army had been moving slowly north since 30 May. Both sides continued to exchange to test each other's strength. The Russians, believing the second army's objective to be the capture of Port Arthur, moved their command facilities to Telisu. Stachelberg positioned his troops astride the railway to the south of the town. While Lieutenant General Simonov, commanding the 19 Cavalry Squadron, took the extreme right of the front. Oku intended to attack frontally with the 3rd and 5th Divisions, one on each side of the railway, while the 4th Division was to advance on the Russian right flank down the Futu Valley. Begin the superior force and having the definite purpose of fighting his way north, Oku began to move on the morning of 14 June. The battle began with an artillery engagement, which it did show the superiority of the Japanese guns not only in number, but also in accuracy. The new Russian Potilov M1903 Field gun was first introduced in this battle, but it was ineffective due to lack of training of the crew, but a waste, 
and the outdated conceptions of the senior artillery officers. The better Japanese artillery seemed to have a significant effect through the battle. Early on 14 June, Oku attacked the Russian front, outflanking it on either side. Divided by the Futu River, Stattelberg's forces were inadequate and unable to East Siberian Rifle Division under, under Lieutenant General Alexander Gengross launched a counterstroke, which surprised the Japanese Third Division, but did not prevail over it due to insufficient commitment of the available force. By contrast, resolute action by the Japanese 5th Division forced a breakthrough. And on 15 June, Oku won an important victory. Stackelberg retreated northward to Kaiping. The Japanese victory came at the cost of 1,163 men that 207 have been killed and 946 wounded against Russian losses of at least 3,500 that 477 of them have been killed, 2,240 of them have been wounded and 754 of them have gone just missing? Duh? The disastrous speedy defeat at Tlisu ended the southern expedition. Kropotkin then resumed his defensive strategy. On 20s, these Japanese units in Manchuria, recognized as the Manchurian army, which, as you may guess, came under command of this man. Don't tell me you don't know him. Multiple times he mentioned him. So, remember, he is Oyama Iwao. His divisions were organized gradually in five larger units. The first army under the command of General Kuroki Tame Tomo, the second army under the command of General Uku Yasukata, the third one under the command of General Nodir Marasuke, the fourth one. Uh, Nozu Michitsura and a small fifth one under the command of General Kawamura Kajaki. On 14th, 4th Japanese fleet established under the command of Vice Admiral Deva Shigetu, which had obsolete vessels of 3rd fleet. This branch dissolved in 1st of December 1921. On 15th, Cruisers, Russia, Rurik, and Jeromobi invaded Tetsushima Strait and sank three Japanese transports, including Hitachi Maru of Imperial Guards Division, though it was a controversial operation. At this month, Fushimi no Miya Sadanaru promoted to general rank and subsequently was assigned to the United States. Other things that happened at this month was dispatching Rogers Temsky. Finally, no wonder why Russia keeps losing even now. To be honest with you, it, it more like turtles, not even puffed ones. Of course, Battle of Motien Pass began in 20. Sevens, but not really. So I will tell that in next month, or maybe he tell you about it. Hmm, I don't know. If you want to follow these stories, follow the channel. If you liked it, you know what to do. Press the thumb up, the ring the bell, and stay tuned. Have a good time. He's Baron Benjamin. I'm Bullet Wings, and we will see you all very soon. See ya.